Okay everybody, today we're going to demonstrate the M2 stove. This is a review of it. As you remember, before I did the M1, and the M2 is the next step up. As you can see right off the bat, the M2 is a bottom feed. The M1 is a top feed. The reason why this is done is the M2 is a lot hotter stove, so you want the fuel line further away from the heat. By the addition of the donut wick around the M2, it's made it basically twice as hot, so it should boil water a lot faster. Uh, basic design is exactly the same except for moving the nipple and the fuel line. You fuel them the same way. Basically squeeze the fuel into the line until you just get the wick wet and once it comes up you turn it back down. I have my pot here with 30 degree water. So let's pour that into here. So this is two cups of water, or basically a bottle of water, and we'll put this in there. Light the stove, maybe. Turn the light off so you can see that a little bit. There we go. Put the windscreen around it. And put the water on top. This stove is made by Mini Bull Designs. And they say it will boil water in about six minutes. So let's check the time and see how it goes. I'm going to shut the camera off and uh, bring you back on down the line. It's only been about 30 seconds. This is a pretty hot stove. We are now at 90 degrees. about four and a half minutes. Actually, probably four minutes. And we're getting ready to hit a hundred. So I'm going ahead and stop it here because you don't need to sit here and watch water boil. And we'll come back. And see how we're doing. Okay, we're back now. And um, we're still going along. It's been about just about six minutes and I haven't hit a boil yet um, but we started off with really cold water we started off with 30 degree water and in six minutes we're up to 130 degrees and at 130 degrees get the light on so you can see at 130 degrees we are starting to get some bubbles coming to the top. You can 
can see the flame there. Let me turn the light back out. So you can see the wick burning. This is a carbon felt windscreen that you can also use as a pot holder. And it doesn't melt like if you put an aluminum one in there which also came from Mini Bull Designs. The um, stove here, the M2 stove, you should use a five loop pot stand. It's just made out of the hardware cloth. Let's go ahead and reset the camera up. And we're now at 140 degrees. We're getting good bubbles coming up. Let's see if you can see that. There you go, we're at 150 now. 150 degrees. You can see that flame underneath. nice thing about this stove is you can boil water with it and you can also eat it you can take that outside donut gasket out after you heat a frying pan up and you can cook uh, pancakes with it you can cook eggs with it so it's hot enough to do more than just boil water it's hot to do water but you can also turn the heat down a little bit to do other things more versatile stove this is the fuel bottle with a nipple cap on it and when I started the alcohol was right about there so I didn't even start with a full bottle and I've only used maybe a quarter of an inch of what's in this bottle and to fuel it you just turn the bottle upside down push the fluid a little bit and then when you see the the flame go out to the edge you stop Okay, we're at 180 degrees. It's about 10 minutes. So with really, really cold water, it takes a little bit longer. It is not a roiling boil. But that water is disinfected and hot.
So at room temperature of 50 degree water, I could see six minutes. With cold, cold water, basically just above freezing, it's going to take you longer. About, I would say, probably close to double the time. Twenty-four grams is what the stove weighs. The bottle alcohol I'm using is a four ounce bottle. So for the thirty degree water, about two ounces of alcohol. You can see how much I've used not even half I mean that's about a third right there and I started with an already used bottle so I've probably used an ounce of alcohol we're at 190 degrees now We're at about 196 degrees now. And she's starting to bubble pretty good. So we're getting close to a boil. Let's see if I can get this so you can see that. We're at 200. We got a light boil with 30 degree water in about 16 minutes. Not too bad. So it takes a little bit longer with the colder water, which it normally does. But the heat output is not as high as like your Coleman and your Whisper Light. So here we are. Hundred and ninety eight degrees and the water's at a very low boil. Definitely hotter than the M one, by all means. Okay, I'm going to call this a boil. It's not a roiling boil, but this is a boil. This was water that you got out of the creek. 
you killed all the pathogens in it. It's hot enough to make your hot coffee, your hot chocolate, your mountain house meal. It's hot enough to do it all. So definitely worthwhile. Light fuel, make a good survival stove, make a good ultralight backpacking stove. I hope you like this video. Maybe it informed you on a little bit more about alcohol stoves. If nothing else, you saw the continuation from the choke hazard to the M1 to the M2. Thank you for watching.